Hello everyone, welcome to the anubhavtrainings.com. In this series of videos, we are discussing about how to use BI features of SAP Analytics Cloud. In this video, we will talk about how to create a BI story using template in SAP Analytics Cloud. For the complete detailed training on SAP Analytics Cloud with all the features, you can subscribe our course on anubhavtrainings.com. In the last video, we have learned how to create an analytic model with the acquired data in SAP Analytics Cloud. If you've not seen that video, I would recommend you to click on the I button to jump over to the video. So let's get started to our next session where we will now create an analytic story using analytical templates. So I will switch over to my system. And now in the system, what we will do is we will create a new. So in the last session, we created this data model with the pandemic data. And now I am going to use uh, create story feature to create a new story in SAP Analytics Cloud. So let's click on create button and we choose here an option called story. Now SAP also offers us variety of um, a variety of uh, templates which we can use out of the box to be able to develop our stories in much better way. So you can see here, we have a presentation responsive template, which is provided by SAP. And we can also create our own templates. You can see there are a variety of templates which we can choose from. So since we, our requirement is to create a dashboard, I will go with this particular template. So let me click on the template. And there you go. You can see the template gets opened up and now we can right away start editing this template. We can also quickly switch over to the data. And now we have here three options to choose to uh, provide data to my story. So I will go with the acquired data for an existing model and we will connect it with our demo model, which was created in our last video. So we do that. And just in a moment, system acquires all the data and you can also quickly visualize the data here in the system. So now you can see it has got all the data. Suppose I wanted to know, um, maybe I just add a dimension here, say based on different countries. I wanted to know what is the number of cases we have. So we can always do that. You can see here we've got number of cases per countries. And then maybe we can also add here number of deaths per country. So you can also see a stack chart which shows number of cases versus number of deaths with the acquired data. So of course I can also directly add this as part of my story, but since we are using a template, we would like to add um, each of the object one by one. So maybe I'll quickly adjust and provide title to our layout. So I can say 2020 uh, pandemic data dashboard and now what we can do is we can just go back and start adding objects over here so maybe i just quickly also remove a couple of objects which i'm not interested and just leave with some of the objects which i'm really truly interested so just quickly adjusting our template so this will not harm anything to the standard template rather it is just a copy which i made and I'm making the changes. So I would be needing um, a geo chart. I would need two data points. I would also need um, uh, a time series chart and then a table uh, going forward together with a story filter. And also we will be injecting one more chart as per our requirement, which I shown in video one. If you've not seen the video one, please click on the I button at this time to switch over to the detailed requirement video. So, uh, now, since we are done with the modification to the templates, let's save our story and click on save. And I say keep the model and I can save my story in the system. So I can say and then dashboard, click on OK. And now, of course, my story right now have no objects, uh, but as and when I progress, I will keep adding uh, more objects to our story. And that will be the topic for our next session. So with that, hope you enjoyed this session. Please feel free to give a thumbs up on this video if you feel this knowledge is helpful. 
and in the next video we will start adding data point to our story thank you for watching